all right ladies and gentlemen sneak peek at number four for the september slash shang chi legend of the ten rings update for marvel future fight is here and this time we're getting another look a much better look at shang chi the mandarin and aquafina aka kathy as a brand new playable character in marvel future fight and this one is coming as a surprise to me okay let me just start off by saying the visuals right in terms of this key art it is bang on okay exactly what you would expect from marvel future fight this thing looks absolutely stellar i love how the mandarin looks i love how the rings look i hope this is how he's gonna look as a playable character shang chi however let me say shang chi looks deezed this man looks like he's a solid 180 190 ripped like i don't know six percent body fat like he like you can see the veins bro veins popping shang chi looking like a monster however the face bro the face hear me hear me out nothing wrong with the face the face looks really good but considering it's a mcu or a marvel studios update generally these characters look very similar to the actors right if you look at tony tony looks pretty much like a younger version of himself it looks like they took tony's face i don't know took off like 20 years off him right and then we got the key art right but then if you take a look at sim's face hear me hear me out like sim Look at Sim's face and then look at Shang-Chi's face. It, it, it looks a little different if you ask me. And then on top of that, if you look at Aquafina's face or Kathy's face, right? Completely different. Hear me out. They can do whatever they want, right? But generally when it's an MCU update, they do their best to make the key art look like the characters from the movie right and they don't have to do it maybe they want to do something different i don't know i don't want to say they didn't like the way how the actor's face looks so that's why they change it i don't know what they were doing okay but in terms of the key art itself it looks really good i'm just kind of confused as to why tony's face is the only one that looks like how he really looks whereas sim looks off and aquafina looks off let's not even you know what let's dive into it honestly how is aquafina aka kathy right gonna be a playable character when she barely did anything in the entire movie fam and on top of that they're not giving us xyling like what hold on no no that can't be the case you know what? let me let me not say that right because again this is just a sneak peek this is not a full update details that's probably going to be coming tomorrow night or uh tuesday morning if you will so we'll have to wait and see but if she's the only playable character if we're getting shang chi's main squeeze right and not getting his sister that's a big bummer man like i would love to see zion the game bro like come on what do you mean we're not gonna get ling ling come on man so i don't know what's going on here i would have much preferred to get his sister as a playable character versus another kate bishop if you don't know what i'm talking about uh kate bishop is this character in the game that nobody uses right now this character right here y'all remember y'all remember this girl bro like from back in the day like what 2016 2017 when she got added in right i guess this is the best <laughs> i i was gonna say this is the best we can hope for out of kathy considering we saw nothing in the movie from her right like she held the bow for like what a day so like what are they really gonna do like are they just gonna take kate bishop's skill set which here's the thing kate bishop like she has a really good skill set for a character that is as old as she is right and the reason why i'm using her is because she she has a bow and she's the last um like truly i guess bow user like bow and arrow user that we got in the game as a new character that i can remember right and she's a female so like i'm trying to think like what are they gonna do for a character that did barely anything in the entire movie like i guess 
with that kind of uh, freedom, they can do anything they want. And honestly, if they are going to do that, I wouldn't mind getting a strong combat female superhero to replace Valkyrie. I'm just saying, right? I would prefer to put my Valkyrie back into the support role and give her an insight. So if that's what they want to do for Kathy, that's fine. I hope she's free to play and I hope she's somewhat viable. Maybe she's going to be a support character for Shang-Chi or something. But honestly, I feel as though... If we're not gonna get Ling, you know, Ling Ling, Xi Ling, whatever you guys wanna call her, right? If if we're not gonna get her and we're getting Kathy instead, that's a that's a big bummer. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be upset about that. But ultimately, you never know, right? We could be getting more than one new character. It's been a while since we've gotten more than one new character, and with the uh Eternals update coming up real soon. I feel like that's gonna be an interesting update because we're gonna get a ton of new characters. But this time around, it doesn't mean we're only going to get one. So we'll have to wait and see. Honestly, though, the faces. I will say one thing, right? I am happy that the faces look better than the faces we saw for um <laughs> the live stream. Yo, shout out to Jamie. Um, let me show you guys. So for the live stream announcement down here right these faces bro yeah look at this and then look at this you can clearly see the people working on these two key arts or these two images are vastly different look at the mandarin's face look at the rings look at shang chi's face look at the outfit and then look at this one like the level of detail right is absolutely insane and here's the thing we don't even know which version of the Mandarin or Shang-Chi we're going to be getting. Because if you remember, when we saw the key art for Winter Soldier, Falcon, and Baron Zemo, the face that we saw for Winter Soldier is not the face that we ultimately got in-game. And people had to end up complaining for like a week or so before they fixed the face. So we have no idea what they're going to do. Neither of the faces for Shang-Chi looks anything like the actor, but if we're going to get one, I would most definitely prefer this face and this outfit and this like body and everything. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do because <laughs> you can clearly see the level of detail and the difference between the two images. It's absolutely insane. Hey man, shout out to both people who worked on these posters, man. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. And honestly, it's going to be very interesting to see how the community reacts to getting Kathy, a.k.a. Aquafina, right, versus getting Zai. Like, come on, bro. Like, really? How you guys going to skip out on giving us Ling Ling, bro? How? Miss Thing? Are you going to do that and give us Aquafina instead, fam? Like, sure, I get it. Everybody has a different character that they like. But I feel as though there's probably a bigger fan base for Zai than there is for Kathy. I'm just saying, but maybe I'm wrong. So we have a message here from CM Fragment. It's nothing too crazy. It's basically just letting us know that the September update is inspired by Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And it reads, the legendary master of martial arts will stand up to his destiny. Will the ruthless mastermind's manipulation be able to bend his progeny, which just means his prodigy, right, to his will? And then down here we have a little bit more. It says, please look forward to the uh, Marvel Studios Legend of the Ten Rings update that will be coming soon. So later this week on Wednesday. Now, I do see some people asking, hey, where is the Mandarin Tier 3 sneak peek? Because we got one for Shang-Chi. We know he's going to be getting his. Here's the thing. If Shang-Chi is getting a tier 3, it stands to reason that the Mandarin has to get a tier 3 as well. Because how on earth would Mandarin be keeping up or stronger than Shang-Chi in Marvel Future Fight if he was just a tier 2 character and Shang-Chi was getting a tier 3 and a uniform? Th that, that would not make no sense, right? So here's the thing. There's two things that could happen. With the stream on Tuesday we could see confirmation for Mandarin tier three, or that will basically just let us know that mid month, the Mandarin would be getting his tier three. So after Shang-Chi's come in and demonstrated his power, presumably becoming the uh, de facto number one 
combat superhero in the game replacing venom we'll have to wait and see right and then later on in the month we could see a replacement for maybe apocalypse man yeah? we could see that like if he becomes the best combat super villain and he becomes the best combat superhero and she becomes the best combat female superhero we could have a big shift in the abx meta this month honestly that would make them a lot of money the whales would definitely be rebuilding a lot of characters i know a lot of people probably want to switch over from uh venom at this point because he's not really scoring the highest i think the highest i've seen anybody get with venom is about nine million for a combat superhero day let me know if any of you guys can score higher than that and i believe apocalypse is around 11 million with a brilliant ctp of judgment however I'm not too sure if he's going to be able to fully replace Apocalypse because you have to keep in mind that Apocalypse covers every season for ABX because he has burn, paralysis, and silence. So Mandarin would have to have all of those. Well, not really. If he has two and he's able to get to 12 million, then that would be a big deal. So we'll have to wait and see, especially if he could work for ABX with an energy. That would be a big, big deal because then he would still retain his ability to do well in World Boss Legend. Considering the fact that if he needs to get Rage, he's going to suffer for a World Boss Legend for the time being because you can't reforge it. So we'll have to wait and see. There's a lot of questions and honestly a lot of potential in this update if we get some strong combat characters heroes and villains so leave me your thoughts in the comments let me know how you guys are feeling about this uh teaser if you will or key art it looks nice the faces are a little bit off but <laughs> they're not off in a bad way like they don't look bad it's just off because they don't look like the actors that they're supposed to be portraying and then on top of that we're getting her who had little to no impact on the movie versus shang chis sister who i feel had you know a, a larger role but hey maybe i'm just tripping